blade and quill. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to study the last assistance. As a quick reminder, you can move and edit these assistants just like the ones I showed you in the previous videos using the buttons on their control panels or the buttons in the Tools Options Docker. If you are new to this channel and want to learn more, please make sure to click on the links above to see the previous videos if you haven't already. Before to start, uh, let's create a keyboard shortcut for the Assistant tool. B is the default shortcut for the brush. What about we make A the shortcut for the Assistant? To do so, go to the setting tab. Choose Configure Krita. In the sidebar menu, click on Keyboard Shortcuts. Now, in the search bar, type Assistant. Click on Assistant tool under the two shortcuts. Activate the custom button and click above the word None. Input will appear. Type A. Say OK. Let's test. As you can see, both tool icons are highlighting as I type back and forth the letters A and B. This shortcut is going to speed our workflow and let me show you. Let's get a ruler, since we are already in the Assistant tool. Type B to get your brush. Trace on the ruler. Now type A to get back to the Assistant. Remove the Assistant and you are done. To create a ruler that is perfectly horizontal on your canvas, click once to create your first point. Then, before you click a second time, click on the Shift key. The second point snaps to place. Now, while still holding the Shift key, click your second point to set it on the canvas. We are going to do the same with a vertical ruler. Click once to create your first point. Click on the Shift key. Your second point is snapping into place. Still holding the Shift key, you are setting your second point. The ruler is perfectly vertical. Click B to get your brush and choose a red color on the color wheel. Make sure that the Snap to Assistant functionality is checked and start tracing on your assistants. As you can see here, this ruler is limited. You cannot draw beyond the two visible points you previously set on your assistants. Click twice to set the ruler on the canvas. This one doesn't have to be perfectly horizontal. Pay attention at where the two points are located. Click B to get your brush and start tracing on your assistant. As you can see here, I can trace beyond the two points I had set earlier. The infinite ruler extends a straight line beyond the two visible points on the canvas. Click A to get back to the Assistant tool and remove the Assistant. Let's create a perfectly horizontal ruler. Click B to get your brush. Now look at the thin line that appears. You can see it better as I move my cursor. When you create your first ruler, you basically set some sort of a reference points to Krita. As you start a tracing, the lines stay strictly parallel to that reference ruler. Click A to get back to your assistant. 
and uh, let's add uh, maybe some more rulers. This time we'll add two vertical rulers. Get your brush and a trace. Now click A to get back to your assistant and click right here to remove them all. The parallel ruler is great to uh, create buildings. Uh, let's make a very very simple castle. First we'll grab the grid, go to view and select show grid. Set one horizontal and one vertical parallel roller. You can set them to the side if you want. Now you just need to get the brush and begin to have some fun. And when you are done, don't forget to get back to your assistant to remove the two parallel rollers. This tool allows you to position and adjust four points to create a cubic Bezier curve. Use this tool to trace the difficult curves. I created this Christmas robot a few months ago. Quickly I will show you how I use a spline to a trace on the robot. As you can see, having the keyboard shortcut is so helpful here. I just go back and forth between the brush and the assistant without any efforts. Alright, we are done with the assistant tools. Uh, I hope you can use them uh, for your projects. They are super helpful and they will make your life so much easier. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Until then, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope my little tutorials are helping you. <laughs> Please uh, feel free to contact me in the comment area as usual if you think I forgot something. Have a great and successful week and uh, don't forget to create some great art. Cheers, bye!